us the latest on the Brexit conundrum as after dealing Brexit for the third time, will UK finally leave European Union on January 31st? That's the big question that's plaguing the United Kingdom. Well, the answer to that question will be decided after the general elections on 12th of December this year. UK Parliament has officially been dissolved, paving way for the general elections. The dissolution means both the Houses of Commons and the House of Lords end their activity. The new House of Commons will be elected on 12th December while the Lords will retain their positions. Under normal circumstances, a new Speaker of the House is also elected along with the House of Commons. This year, it's going to be different as Lindsay Hall was elected earlier this month to replace John Burkow following his resignation in September. UK's Prime Minister will formally announce the December 12th elections today, urging the voters to back him and promising to get Brexit done in the next few weeks. Before the announcement, Johnson will also pay a formal visit to Queen Elizabeth. Johnson is hoping to win a big enough majority in Parliament to get Brexit deal. He agreed with Brussels last month. Ahead of the election, former Chancellor Philip Hammond has said that he would not stand as an independent candidate as that would be a direct challenge to the party he loved. Hammond was thrown out of the Conservative Party after defying Boris Johnson over a no-deal Brexit. As a result, he cannot stand as a Tory candidate in Runnymede and Weybridge, which he has represented since the year 1997. Hammond was among the 21 Tory MPs who had the party whip removed in September for backing legislation designed to stop the UK leaving the EU without a deal, the so-called Ben Act. Under 2011, the Fixed Term Parliaments Act, UK Parliament must be re-elected every five years. This means that next general election was supposed to take place in the year 2022. But last month, the House of Commons voted for an early elections in December. Britain had been due to leave in March, but has had to extend that deadline three times. This after Parliament rejected a deal negotiated by Johnson's predecessor, Theresa May, twice, and then forced Johnson himself to ask for more time. On a lighter note, a Brexit roller coaster featuring an effigy of Boris Johnson and Jacob Rees-Mogg was paraded through the streets as part of bonfire festivities in Lewis. This year marks the second in a row that Johnson has been featured among the effigies. This year's roller coaster creation is complete with broken rails and signposts pointing separately to deal, no deal, and ditch. Our next story should serve as a wake-up call for women around the world. 18 women lawmakers in the UK say they won't seek re-election in the election to be held on 12th December. Why so? Because of a culture of intimidation, threat and abuse that politically active women face in the United Kingdom. Women who enter politics in India are not immune to it either. Here's a report. During the 2019 parliamentary election in India, the National Commission for Women condemned what it called extremely derogatory remarks made by Samajwadi party leader Azam Khan against actor-turned-politician Jayat Prada and issued a show cause notice to him. In India, women hold barely 12% of seats in the federal legislature. According to women's rights activist Ranjana Kumari, Sexual abuse in political parties is systemic and underreported. Her organization, the New Delhi based Center for Social Research, released a report in 2014. Nearly 50% respondents said they faced verbal abuse. 45% said physical violence and threats were common. 67% of women politicians said perpetrators were male contestants and 58% of the perpetrators were party colleagues. In the 